One of the most important conversations to have is a conversation of mental wellness, especially in the workplace, because that is where we spend a lot of our time uh, as professionals. Uh, dentists tend to work in a very, in a highly stressful uh, environment, uh, given the, uh, the kind of work we do, uh, uh, societal pressures as well uh, on the individual and also on the, on, on the profession as well as a doctor. Uh, quite a number of people are looking up to you, the society is looking up to you, decisions to be made and uh, we have managed to begin an effort to uh, help our doctors uh, get better mental uh, wellness and health. And uh, one of these partnerships is uh, with the Chiromo group of hospitals and uh, we have uh, an agreement with them where any of our members as uh, KDA uh, can walk in and have uh, a check-up, a check-in with, uh, uh, with a professional there. And uh, this is important. Routine uh, maintenance doesn't only happen to machines uh, like we know in the workplace. Uh, the best uh, place to have uh, routine maintenance for the uh, human, human being is with a professional and uh, this is highly recommended for us when we say go see your dentist for your for your dental issues is the same way we are saying uh, have a checkup and a check-in every so often uh, with your psychologist with your therapist and uh, with your psychiatrist uh, depending on uh, what is indicated the relationship is actually very close indeed uh, in the sense that uh, the morbidity the illness uh, uh, go uh, both ways um, and if I have one mission uh, today it is uh, first of all to persuade myself that I have relevance uh, in a meeting of uh, dentists but more importantly to persuade um, our experts in dentistry that they have a special place um, in our profession and I think and I believe that uh, working together uh, we will be able to get uh, much better outcomes for themselves and also um, in our fields. In my recollection, this is the first time that uh, we have received and accepted an invitation um, at this kind of conference. And I have to say that I take this as evidence that our country has made major strides in the, law, in, in the right direction. Um, in trying to um, institutionalize and put in place uh, the position of mental health in all of health uh, in this our country. Mental wellness in society in general is in my view subsumed under the WHO mantra that states effectively that there is no health without mental health. Let me repeat that. The WHO is very clear that there is no health without mental health. Now, whether you're talking about uh, physical health, whether you're talking about dental health, whether you're talking about any form of health, as long as you don't have the component of the individual's uh, mental health, uh, your health is incomplete.